So Federal Reserve Chairman Powell is thought to have put interest rates on hold for the foreseeable future, and the same with the asset selling program is no longer on autopilot. The stock market is euphoric. This is such great news. Jerome Powell has their back. What if they're wrong? What if Jerome Powell is worried about something completely different and was looking for a reason to not raise interest rates? Just look around the globe. Italy announced that it's officially in recession. We've been talking about the fact that France and Germany had their PMI go into recessionary territory. Not a recession, but recessionary. Same with China. And of course, China, no one's for sure what's going on. They've admitted to being below 50 in their PMI and they're start to slightly contract, but one never knows. And here at home, last month we got the Richmond Fed, the Dallas Fed, and the Philly Fed all in recessionary territories. The Chicago Fed was doing pretty good. They had a reasonably good PMI. It came out today. They've dropped radically, not yet in recession, but the direction is not really, really good. So what are you to do? Risk is piling up in the stock market. And the bond market, as we've talked before, bonds are priced for perfection in the corporate world. You know, these corporations have just gorged on debt. And as revenues start to decline, which happens in an economic slowdown, let alone if we go into recession, once the revenues decline, they struggle to make their payments to the debt holders and they get downgraded or they default. Look what happened with General Electric just last month. Their rate, uh, they got downgraded and overnight they lost 15%. So what are people my age to do? You know, the avenues for income are being closed off. Bonds, pretty risky. There are six organic growth real estate markets in the United States. I'm here in Phoenix, Maricopa, the number one in the United States. I'm right next door to California. California has an exodus going on. People are driving and struggling to get out and they're coming here. We have so much pressure on our rental market, it's driving rents higher and we just do not have enough rentals to cover all the people that are coming here. We have 222 people net every single day that move here. And it's increasing. People are getting out of California and it's coming here. It's organic growth. This isn't being, this isn't being driven by Chinese like they did in, uh, in Seattle and in, uh, in Canada. This is organic growth. People moving here to get a better life and a better job. And there's lots of jobs here. So this is a perfect avenue if you need income for yourself. Now, we are in a correction so I do expect this to slow down a little bit. That's part of our forecast, but the forecast also is for much higher prices. So you can deploy some of your money now and get an income stream for yourself. And the risk is probably much, much lower than the other, uh, other asset classes. So if I can help in any way, let me know. And keep in mind, we are really good at what we do. Bye-bye now. <laughs>